The Ritzy's Fantasy of Lights is ready to light up from Tri-State for the 27th year. Pam Kirk of Easter Seals is here to give us a preview of 2020. Good morning. Hello there. Thanks for having me. Well, We're so that, excited that Ritzy's Fantasy of Lights is shining this year. It's time it's, to uh, light up the Tri-State. Yeah, such a crazy year. Um, so many things have had to be canceled and things are not happening the way that they normally do, but Ritzy's Fantasy of Lights is. So we're all going to get a big dose of holiday cheer wrapped up in normalcy and it's going to happen just as it always does. Um, and of course, a big reason is the great volunteers um, who will be setting it up tomorrow in Garvin Park. Well, according to Ron Rhodes, that's going to be a good day to set it all up. It sounds like it's going to be perfect, um, and we're really grateful for that. We're expecting dozens of volunteers um, from IBEW, NECA, the Teamsters, uh, Electrical JATC, and other building trades. These folks are so loyal to Easter Seals, and they're so passionate about bringing Ritzy's Fantasy of Lights to the community, and um, for the benefit of Easter Seals, of course, and we're, we're so happy they're going to have a great day out there. Well, now, Pam, I hear, are there going to be some new items added to the show this year? We have one brand new display coming. Um, our friends from the International Union of Painters and Allied Trades have a brand new display. And appropriately, it's going to be a lion painting a gift box. <laughs> so we're excited about that. Um, and we also have 12 of our displays, 12 more that are switching over to LED lights this year. So those are gonna look completely different. And we're, we have probably over two thirds now of our displays that are LED really brightening things up. Pam, when would the uh, Tri-Staters be able to drive through Fantasy of Lights? Well, as always, we're going to be open from Thanksgiving night all the way through January 1st. And um, this year, we do have a brand new way for people to um, get their tickets. We have a touch-free ticketing option this year. So folks can go online. Um, they can pay their admission fees in advance anytime, even now, if they want. <laughs> have that uh, on their screen when they come to uh, Ritzy's Fantasy of Lights and just show the volunteers your phone and that'll be your receipt. So, um, of course, they can also still get tickets at Annie Evansville Ritzy's in advance, or they can get their admission when they arrive at the park. But uh, we think a lot of folks will really enjoy the online ticket option, and that is available at bidpal.net slash Ritzy's F-O-L. And, of course, you can also find out all of the information about that um, at our website, EasterSealsRehabCenter.com, and on our Facebook page where you can follow all the news about the event. Pam, thanks so much. for. We're going to be talking about Fantasy of Lights for uh, quite a while uh, coming up. So this is your chance to support the work of Easter Seals and have a great holiday experience for your family. Thanks, Pam. Thank you so much. And the, the funds are so important. We hope everybody will really enjoy it and know that they're making a big difference for local people with disabilities. Thanks, Pam. And we'll be